I came across this uh, super 8 millimeter projector at the market and it was with a bargain price that under $100 so I had to buy it because I know at my house I have two movies from 50 years ago one of them is um, some kind of uh, party my parents made for my uh, birth when I was 8 days old and the other one is my parents wedding I know these movies are at my house and nobody watched them for the last 50 years the only thing that was a problem with this projector is that the light bulb was burned out. So I got a new light bulb from eBay and I replaced it like so. This is a 100 watt light bulb. My father arranged that these two occasion will be on the 8 millimeter film while my father was always on the cutting edge of technology and we were the first house in our neighborhood that had the uh, Atari 2600 console we were back in uh, 1980 we were also the first house in our neighborhood that had a VCR or a color TV so after I replaced the light bulb, I needed to find a way to fix one of the movies, the one, one movie from the, the party of the birth of a child, which is me. Uh, the condition of the tape was not so great and every time um, I try to play it, it broke down so I needed to find a way to tape back together all the pieces so I made this uh, construction from a piece of wood and some nails from the, from the nail gun which are very thin and I align him this way so I can hold them with the with the nails and I can tape together the two pieces actually there were a couple of pieces that they were uh, broken this way it took some time but at the end the whole film was back together after I tape together all the broken pieces I roll everything back to the original wheel so it will be possible to mount the film wheel on the machine here is a special uh, machine that you can buy that will do uh, this uh, exact uh, procedure 
it's called a splicer and it's more accurate than uh, this uh, jig that I uh, improvised. The other film, by the way, the film for the wedding did not break even once, which is strange because they were both um, in the same place for the last 50 years. So when everything taped together, I opened this arm and put the wheel with the original film and then I start the process of um, sliding the film inside the path of the machine which also was not that easy I uh, download the PDF file of the instructions of this uh, specific uh, projector but uh, still not everything uh, went uh, smooth and I had to help the film uh, to enter the correct path and it took a couple of minutes In the beginning I used the uh, tweezers and a flat screwdriver to help the film get into the path and after that I decided to remove the cover so I can see better where it's going and uh, help it to go in the way that it needs to go It took some trial and error and uh, after not too long the, the tape, the film was in the correct place and I could continue to the next phase of making this in a digital format So in order to convert this uh, movie to digital, I used a little bit of a primitive method. I project the movie on the wall and I picture it or videotape it 
with the iPhone. I think that the result is not bad at all. Friends and family, the, that show that saw the results were very happy uh, to remember at this time. And uh, I think that the quality is quite impressive for uh, something that happened uh, 50 years ago. I wish there was uh, sound also, but uh, video is good enough. This is me. When I was uh, eight days old. And this is my father. This is the grandmother of my mother. This is my mother. It's very beautiful. So this is how I converted a millimeter film to a digital film.